these two letters up here. Mm. We'll go back to the Torah portion in a second. So there are many places where those two letters, if it were simply a marker for the direct object, it would appear in those places too. So why there is significance to these two letters is because it, it's not everywhere. As you saw, it's all over the tabernacle. Mm. But then you can go for chapters in Job. There's 40 chapters in Job. Very long book. There's only 42 out of tops. Okay? So there's only 42 instances. Whereas in that one Torah portion, which is a couple of chapters, which is like 110. So you sort of get the idea, just statistically, to think about it that way. 40 books, uh, 40 chapters, I'm sorry. 40 chapters, 42 occurrences, a couple of chapters, 110 about the tabernacle, just, just as a comparison. So it's not just tossed around like a grammatical thing. It's placed strategically to show us how much the Lord loves us. So back to the Torah portion. We read this, that the children of Israel, this is at the very end of the Torah portion for this week. Uh, the children of Israel are choosing to bow down to other gods. They are in holotry. And so Pincus, which we just read, um, took a spear in his hand, and we're going to do this. So, Lou and Val, can you come up? So, we're going to have words, like the Hebrew words here, so that you can see the words and you can see our thoughts together. So, go on that side. So, we, we have to, so, Hebrew is from right to left, right? So, Lou and Val go all the way to the right. And then a man. Could you come, Paul? And John? And Nate, and Francis, and Tony. Even if it's 
not a physical thing. But how many times has the shield been pierced for me? I don't even know. We don't know. And this just shows sort of like that in the words a representation of what that looks like. And because this one, Yeshua dwells in us, if he is the Aleph Tav, this is in us. And so when we stand by someone, even though we've messed up too and we're broken, but we stand by someone, we're blessing them, and we're covering them, because he's our covering, and that covering dwells within us. So it's as if those, those sprinkled drops of blood are in our depths of our heart. Even though we're not perfect, even though we're still in process, make sense? Yeah. When he did that, the plague stopped. The Lord, you know, they they died in the natural, and it had, and the Lord commanded it, but yet in the spirit, they covered. Yes. Alatab is pierced. Alatab is pierced. Oh yes. So they were they were pierced. If I may speak, sorry, I just got really excited. So they were pierced. As man and woman, as like one, they were also individually mm -hmm. covered. Mm -hmm. individual, covered as a whole, and covered individually. That's extra cool. Yes. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Yeah. so that is the same. Mm -hmm. What you see there is kind of the same thing as we just saw here. Okay. Yeshua holding us. So back to Genesis, stay here for one moment. Um, so it says, in the beginning, Elohim created all of the top of the heavens and the earth. But it says, but et, on the second one. The vav is the word, it, it means the word and in English. And it actually is, is a hook. It's the, the hooks that held the curtains together in the tabernacle. Within our Father's name, the four letter name of the Lord, yod heh vav -he, there's that same letter. And so if you look at that word, yod heh vav -he, in, in Hebrew, you see, behold the hand, and behold the hook. We say nail because he was nailed to a cross. But in his name, there's the letter for hook, which is what we hang with. And that literally, he was hung on the cross for us, his hand being pierced for us. So within his name, you see that. Within this first scripture, you see that Bob with, that's the hook, with the olive top being pierced for us. You see it that way. Okay? and the Lord connecting heaven and earth. Right? So Zechariah, I will pour it on the house of David on behalf of him, so Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplication, and then they will look upon me, and after that it says, Alatav, whom they have pierced, it's the same word that's used for when Pinkas pierces the man and the woman, and it's only used 11 times. So the, in Hebrew, the words are used sparingly and only when necessary, so I find it quite significant that it's used when in this particular Torah portion, in this way, he's piercing, being pierced for us, and he's pierced for us there. And then we see it also in, um, in Revelation, the same exact being pierced for us. And then they will look upon him. They are pierced. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay. One more scripture, and we like sheep to go astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has made to fall in him our sin. Alpha. All of us, and then there's you. So, so you can so you can see this as his heart, his love. There's judgment, obviously. There is judgment. There's there's consequence, but there's his love and mercy, and we see that. And that always blesses me, because that's what he does for us. There's no sin that's below what he did, what he's doing for us. Hallelujah! <laughs> so know that, that this dwells in, in, in you. And I was thinking, and this may not make sense, but the when those that are in a place of unrighteousness cry out unto the Lord, cheers. And may we cry out for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.